Hello everyone, this is Helmi Choi and I am very happy to meet you and appreciate having a chance to present this study. My co-worker is In Gyeong Kim. Anyhow, the title what I'm presenting is the Knowledge and Attitude on Tuberculosis for the Korean Nursing Students. <clears throat> The reason for studying, studying this study is that the new tuberculosis patient rate is increasing recently. Nursing students should not be at risk of infectious disease during practice and contact with patients. Firstly, looking at previous research, uh, tuberculosis is an infectious disease usually caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria in Korea, it ranks first in TB incidence and second in moderately among 36 member countries of the OECD. <clears throat> uh, in 2019, after chickenpox, uh, TB was the highest number of the reported cases and the highest number of deaths. The number of new tuberculosis patients in 2020 was 90,933, a decrease of 16.3% from the previous year. Since the full-scale operation of the National Tuberculosis Monitoring System in 2000, the number of new patients has reached 10,000 for the first time. Looking at the number of new tuberculosis patients from 2018 to 2020, the older the age, the higher the new tuberculosis patient rate. But the incidence rate increased sharply from single to double digits when transitioning from teenager to 20s. <clears throat> Girl arrive at university, such as living in a dormitory, as well as academic stress can uh, threaten the physical and psychological health. The vulnerability can increase the chance of exposed to TB infection. In particular, nursing students are more likely uh, to be exposed to, to TB than other 20 years old. Under the current COVID-19 pandemic situation, it has been reported that the uh, treatment result could be worse if the patient has been infected with COVID-19, so we should be careful TB more than before. To collect the basic data on TB prevention education for nursing students, we should understand the knowledge and attitude of tuberculosis of nursing students. <clears throat> the study design is follows. This study is a um, dis <clears throat> descriptive correlation research study conducted to identify knowledge and attitude about TB among uh, nursing students in Korea. The subject were convenient sampling extractive from nursing students from universities which are located in Gyeonggi-do, Chungcheong-nam-do, and Chungcheong-buk-do. The minimum sample size required for regulation analysis was calculated using the G-Power program. In order to comply with the research ethics, the researchers allow the students to fully understand the purpose of study and the contents of the questionnaire and only students who agree to participate in this study. The number of samples was obtained using the G-Power program. The minimum number of people required for the study uh, derived from significant level uh, 0 0.05, power was 0 0.95, effect size was 0 0.15, and 15 uh, predict was 132. Considering the drop-out rate, 
170 people participated in this study, and a total of 166 people were analyzed, excluding the four people who had insufficient questionnaire content. The data correction period was from every one to every thirty. Ethical aspects were considered for the students before data collection. The study tools are as follows. This study cons consists of six general characteristics, sorry, knowledge tip of TV, and 15 attitudes toward TV. The generation characteristic consists of gender, age, grade, housing type, and presence and absence of TV test. The specific contents of knowledge and attitudes are as follows. Uh, the knowledge of tuberculosis is a study tool is a specific query as follows. The knowledge of TB is a total of three, 30 questions and refer it to an individual level of knowledge of TB, epidemiology, and transmission routes, treatment methods, symptoms, and preventive checkups. It consists of a total of 30 questions, five questions on the importance of treatment, three questions on contact screening and awareness of a latent TB, and three questions on TB system symptoms. Sorry. It's a, each response is giving one point for yes, zero point for no, and also zero points for the no. If the answer is correct, students can get one point and students can get a score of zero if they choose the no or no. Score range was zero to 30. Higher score indicate higher knowledge of TB. In Chami's study, the two reliability words Chrome Alpha 0.87. And in this study, Chrome Alpha 0.96. The attitude toward tuberculosis in studies tools in specifically as follow. Attitude toward TB refers to TB prevention education, the importance of treatment and awareness of TB. There were 15 questionnaires in total, and each question was measured on liquid scale ranging from one point not at all to four points strong agree. Score range 15 to 16 points. The higher the score shows that the more positive the, the attitude toward TB. In Chamisu study, those tools, reliability was chrome alphas, 0.83 in this story, Chrome Alpha, 0.94. Let me tell you about our research ethics. Data for this study were collected through structures questionnaire in several effort format. Correcting data took place during the mass months of April. Before the survey, the meaning and purpose of the survey were fully explained and after obtaining permission for the survey, the survey was conducted before class. The study was conducted after obtaining the informed consent from students. The survey information and data were immediately discarded after input. Let me tell you about the data analysis. The collected data were analysis using SPS program. The general characteristics of the subject were analyzed by frequency and percentage. Differences in TV knowledge and attitude according to general characteristics were analyzed by T-test and ANOVA. And post-test was analyzed by Shepard test. The percentage of correct answers and attitude score of knowledge over TB were analyzed by frequency and percentage.
mean and standard deviation. <clears throat> Next, I tell you about the analysis of the result. The average age of the target was 20. Men accounted for the largest percentage of gender, while second graders accounted for the largest percentage. Dormitory was the most common type housing, and cohabitation was higher friends or family. More people had no experience in tuberculosis tests than those who had no experience. The knowledge score of a TB was 16.84 points out of 30, and the attitude of a TB was 45.44 points out of 60. Differences in knowledge and attitude of tuberculosis related to general characteristics are as follows. There was no difference in knowledge of tuberculosis related to general characteristics. In terms of attitude toward tuberculosis, students living in their parents' homes scored higher than those living in dormitories. Knowledge of tuberculosis is as follows. In this study, the collect answer rate was analyzed. The most collect question is tuberculosis can be transmitted from coffee and sneezing of patients. <clears throat> and then the lowest correct answer rate, tuberculosis patients always get tuberculosis bacteria from sputum test. Then worth it. It's a continuous story about tuberculosis knowledge. It's the same things. <clears throat> Excuse me. The attitude towards tuberculosis is as follows. In this study, the part of our attitude was analysis as a score. The highest score is in in the attitude toward tuberculosis was 3.31, which was, if there are tuberculosis patients alarmed, they will, will be encouraged to receive treatment. The lowest score was 2.16, and I am interested in tuberculosis, it was. It's a continuous story of a tuberculosis attitude too. This is uh, the conclusion of the study. This study was conducted to prepare basic data for developing an educational program and in order to understand the knowledge and attitude for prospective nurses. Looking at the general characteristics in this study, 20s, women, and the sophomores participated the most, and there were more people without TB test experience. Environment in which cross contact with TB patient could raise concern about infections. As more people lived with friends or family members, can be infected than alone. TB is an infectious disease that can occur in a group even if there is one only one outbreak. So prevention is important. As a result of this study, the knowledge of TB was 56.6 points out of 100 points. Compared with prevention, Previous studies that measured to use the same tools, the result of the study for high school students, <clears throat> the score of 45.5 points. The study number scored 50.9 points. And the study for health-related college students gave 56.6 points. And nursing students in their study number, it was 65 points. The research show that 
The college students have the higher knowledge score than high school students. And they have the same score as the highest relative college students. But the level of knowledge is rather than lower against the previous study targeting nursing college students. Excuse me. Among the knowledge question, two items with a high, high percent of correct answers over 60% were TB can be trans, transmitted through a patient coughing and sneezing. And if there is TB patient in family members or friends, I should also be tested for TB. There are three items with a low collect rate or less than 30% where TB bacteria always show up in spotting test for TB patients. Once got TB, patient have a slight fever in the afternoon. TB can be transmitted by physical contact such as shaking hand and hugging. In this story, the attitude toward the TB was 65.7 out of 100 points and 3.0 uh, out of 4 points. Looking at previous studies that measured the knowledge using the same tool, those result of the study for high school students were 2.9 points and this study it was 3.1. The previous study and the attitude score shows similar user results. Similar, very similar. There was no significant uh, difference between high, high school and college students. Looking at the level of each sub area, contact, examination, and treatment for latent TB score were 3.26 points. Importance of treatments was 3.15 points. Negative perception of TB was 2.95 points. And TB prevention education and activities were 2.93 points. In previous study, the perception of TB showed are negative. In this study, not only negative perception of TB, but also TB prevention, education, and activity showed a low score. Analyzed by items, the item, if there are TB patients around me, I will recommend the treatment with a higher, highest score in attitude was 3.31 points. The item with the lowest score were 2.16 points which was I am interested in TB. The rest score on the question, I am interested in TB, means the nursing student perception of TB is very serious. Nursing students meet a variety of patients through hospital and community practice. Even after graduation, there are many environments being exposed to infectious disease. So it is quite dangerous to have such a lizard. Therefore, it is necessary to educate about the dangers of TB and TB prevention. The result of this study, nursing student knowledge and attitude toward TB were very low. Under the COVID-19 situation, TB patient may be at bigger risk. If they are exposed to COVID-19. Therefore, knowledge and attitude of TB should be improved for the prevention and management. Consequently, a TB prevention education program for nursing students is necessary and also needs to instill awareness of the necessity of education in nursing students. The lepers are as followers. Well, um, thank you. That's it. That's it for the presentation.
I'll take a question from the correspond author email. Feel free to email me if you have any question. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.